Hello, this video is going to be on training and testing ridge regression by using siri.glmnet function. In the previous video, I showed you the, uh, the lasso regression. Um, the way that we did it is by using siri.glmnet, we implemented on um, this function and we use five different uh, folds uh, and then we cross validated it uh, in the training data. And we later use the string model to uh, work on the test data. Um, so and I mentioned in this, uh, mentioned this in the previous video, the only difference between Lasso and Ridge in our implementation is the fact that we change this um, alpha value from one to zero, okay? So if you change this alpha from one to zero, it becomes actually your um, rich uh, model. All right, so everything is going to be the same here in this in this function. Um, as a reminder, the first plot belongs to the training data. Um, train X, one more time, has only independent variables into it. It does not include the dependent variable. Therefore, the second spot um, is dedicated to that dependent variable from the train data. Type measure has to be class because we are actually telling cv.glmnet that uh, we are measuring um, the dependent variable, zero and ones. Family is binomial. Um, alpha value is zero to refer to the fact that this is the ridge regression, not the last. So, and number of folds that we have in our system is actually five. All right, let's run this. And the name that I gave it this to is CV Ridge, all capital, and let's execute this model and let's plot this model. All right, so this um, this plot is telling me that ridge regression is actually using um, the the minimum, the optimal uh, lambda value is telling me to use thirteen different independent variables, and again, one standard deviation further down compromise. Compromise uh, lambda value is also telling me to use 13 different independent variables. Okay, so let's take a look at these lambda values. These are all different, like 100 different lambda values uh, the model selected to use. Um, the lambda LSE is actually, one SE is 0 0.5. The optimal lambda value is uh, 0 0.32, okay? Similarly, we could retrieve the coefficients at lambda value as its optimal level. Um, ridge regression is using 13 different independent variables um, at lambda at its optimal level. And with one standard deviation compromise, we are actually again using uh, 13 different uh, independent variables. As you can see, LASSO is actually helping us uh, shrinking those coefficients to zero for uh, for non-influential independent variables. Actually, with the ridge regression, you could see that some of these numbers are very, very small. For example, the income, the coefficient of income is very small. Um, the coefficient of car value, credit card debt is very small. Um, even the coefficient of weight is very small. And age is even very small as well, right? Well, those variables, remember, uh, got shrinked down to exactly zero with the lasso regression. That's the beauty of using lasso regression over rich. But let's see how much uh, accuracy that we could gain by using ridge regression. All right, so let's put together um, these predictions in a confusion matrix format. Well, let's see what's wrong here. Um, Prediction is not found. Yes, we haven't executed this line. Let's first make the predictions by using the predict function by using the, the rich model. Um, I'm using one standard deviation compromised uh, lambda value, um, working on train data, and my type is class. All right, let's regenerate this. All right, it should work. This is my confusion matrix, very simple confusion matrix. Let's call the function of confusion matrix on this contingency table. And let's take a look at our accuracy. Our accuracy improved 
compared to our accuracy that we got by using lasso regression, but it's not as good as the one that we, we, we found by using logistics regression. Okay, let's take a look at how it does do on our test data. Uh, this time I'm also making predictions by using the same ridge model that I trained with the same alpha assigning same lambda value, but this time my new data is on my test independent variables, test X, and my type is class. I made the predictions. Let's create the confusion metrics and let's take a look at the results. Yeah, my accuracy level is not really um, different than what I just had with Lasso. Um, if I were to compare these two models, Lasso and Ridge, in my Lasso model, I was using just four independent variables and I was getting, well, almost same accuracy levels on both training and test data. Uh, on the other hand, in my Ridge model, I'm using 13 different independent variables and I'm not really getting really uh, better accuracy and sensitivity and specific values. So uh, for this specific implementation, I would lean on Lasso uh, because I would be using just four independent variables. And if I have to compare this with um, my logistics regression, Yes, well, this regression can give me better accuracy, but only using six independent variables versus four in Lasso. If accuracy is important for you, then you should go with a logistic regression. But if using few amount of data or independent variables is equal, uh, is important for you, then you should go with Lasso. Um, so this might change, of course. This is just this problem, this data set. Um, depending on your data set and depending on the context of your work, um, these whole decisions that I just told you a minute ago might be different. Um, but this is how you can make selections on certain classification models.